Scott, a very different setting to our normal press conference. Here we are at the FC Copenhagen Stadium in Denmark. Looking forward to tomorrow's game. Very much so. You know, you just turn up and have a look at the place. It's, uh, it's an excellent place to play uh, football in. A lovely pitch. Um, it's where you want to play your football, like I said last round, coming to our place. But you know, when you come to their, their home ground, um, what a fantastic place to play football. And of course, the uh, penalty which gave them the 2 0 victory from the first leg. It is an uphill struggle for TNS. Yeah, it's, it's 2 0 from the first leg, but we didn't disgrace ourselves. And, and that's a pretty good chance ourselves. So the message is, you know, um, don't show them too much respect again. And, you know, go and have a go at them. Put them under pressure. Make sure that we create chances again. And, and see if we can uh, upset them in the first early stages. And, and back to the penalty, you did say after the game that you didn't think it was. On reflection now, and having the benefit of replays, are your thoughts still the same? Yeah, he's the, the lad's shot, he's had his shot, he's taken it. Uh, Keston's momentum's taken him through. Um, yes, you might say that he's caught him, but it's the follow-through. Uh, sometimes it happens in games. Uh, we can go back to our first leg, we played at home, and and the keepers took Robs out, smashed in without getting anywhere near the ball. It's exactly the same. It's, it's a foul, it's a penalty, but we didn't get it in that instance. Um, we're not crying about it. The game's done, it's 2-0. Um, dust ourselves down, we've trained and we've looked at them again. And again, a very good side. They played Saturday night and won 2-0 late on in the game. Um, and we know the task and we know it's going to be even tougher um, than it was at home. But it's what you play football for, it's what you're in football for. And um, like, I, like I've said, what a... What an excellent opportunity to come and show our goodwill. And going into the game, it's true to say that the team spirit in the camp is still very good indeed. Yeah, why not? You know, it's it's it's, it's one it's one thing to um, get into the Champions League. It's another to stay in there. The lads are enjoying the ride. They know whatever happens um, tomorrow evening. There's there's another at least another two games, whether that be Champions League football or Europa League football. That's the carrot for them. You know, it's a great ride that we're on. Um, and you can, you can just sense a feeling of togetherness and, and a good bond within the squad. And one or two players have come back from injury. Will that affect your lineup for the game? Yeah, we've got um, maybe one or two that we're, we're having a look at to uh, either start or be on the bench. Um, nice to see Kane and Blaine back as well. Um, nice to see them pushing and making sure that they're available um, in the coming weeks as well. And we have 24 hours to go till kickoff. Is the starting lineup firmly planted in your mind right now, or are there still places up for grabs? Yes, um, well, I know the 11. If if they uh, come through tonight and, and obviously early early hours tomorrow and whatever, so we know the lineup, we know the subs, um, and we know any changes that we're likely to be making as well um, to improve us and to help us get a positive result. Scott, as always, thank you for your time. It is a magnificent stadium. The players are out there and we'll let you get back to the business on the pitch. Thanks, Rev.